Now this video is entitled um, How to Make a Solar Cell Out of a Leaf and it is because I'm going to use Mysterious Electrolyte 1. Mysterious Electrolyte 1 is extracted from birch leaves which are just outside my studio. Now I'm going to do an, a supplementary video that shows you how to extract this but it's quite long because obviously there's quite a lot of chemical processes involved to get this extracted. But there you go, we extract this from a leaf and turn that into a solar cell. And here it is, the solar cell. Now then, one interesting thing about this obviously is the use of copper and aluminium. Now we've got two different metals, electrolyte between them. First thing you're gonna think of is, hey, that's a battery. So what I did to kind of offset that was make a battery. So here we have a large aluminium plate, a large copper plate. Between them, we've got a paper towel and that's soaked in mysterious uh, leaf extract one. So if it's a battery, then what we've got here is a battery setup. So what we'd expect is some kind of reading from that because again, two metals, electrolyte in between them. Hey, we're gonna get a reading from it. We've got a battery, if we've got a battery. So let me connect those up for you. So I'm just clipping them onto the two metals and I've got this multimeter set of micro amps. And how about that? Absolutely nothing. Now that might not seem very interesting to you at this stage, but it's very interesting to me because clearly there's no activity there. Setting up those two different metals with mysterious leaf extract one does absolutely bugger all. So it's not a battery. It's not performing a battery function. So let's put that to one side. Now, what we've got here is a strip of copper, a strip of aluminium, a piece of paper towel soaked in uh, the leaf extract, and then a piece of plastic placed over the top of it. And the reason I've done that is to stop it being air, because obviously no light can get in there. That's two layers of plastic. No air can get in there, it's two layers of plastic. So I've repeated it here, where we've got the plastic covering everything, so it can't be air. So the only difference between this little setup and this setup is the light can get to it. So now let's connect that up to my multimeter. And there we go. How about that? We're getting uh, 58 microamps. It actually settles down to around about 40 or so. And I've had that running for about three days now, putting out 40 amps. And there's something else I'd like to point out to you as well. If you look at these two materials, you'll see there's no corrosion of the two electrodes. So we're getting a fairly constant supply there of admittedly small amounts, but we're getting constant supply of small amounts from that structure where we've got leaf extract between two different metals. I use these two different metals to give a bit of current direction. And if you have two same metals, then you still get an output from it, but the output is much, much lower because I think the electrons don't know where to go. And in this setup, they know where to go, so you get a much better capture of it. And we like I say, we know it's not a battery because we've just had it in a battery setup doing absolutely nothing, which is kind of cool. Okay. Let's reconnect that. And this time, we'll give it a bit of light. And here we've got a halogen lamp to give it a bit of simulated daylight because obviously it's pretty grey. I don't know if you can hear the rain. And let's plug in the light. And there you go. The output going up. If we unplug it, we'll see it drop down again. But tell you what, let's plug it in again. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, so there is a solar cell based on leaf, leaf extract. Now, as I said, in a next video, what I'm going to do is show you how to make the leaf extract. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and thank you very much for watching.